U.S. Marine reacts to a day in the life of a U.S. Marine. Join us as a U.S. Marine shares an exclusive reaction to a day in the life of a U.S. Marine. In this video, we dive deep into the rigorous training, camaraderie, and daily challenges faced by Marines. From early morning wake-up calls to intense physical training, discover what it truly means to serve in the U.S. Marine Corps. Our Marine host breaks down each segment, providing insights and personal anecdotes that highlight the resilience, discipline, and honor that define a Marine's life. Whether you're considering a military career or simply curious about military life, this reaction video offers a unique perspective on the commitment and sacrifices made by our brave servicemen and women. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more engaging military content. The United States Marine Corps is one of the world's elite combat forces. This branch of the armed forces specializes in supporting land, sea, and air operations, as well as protecting U.S. embassies, classified documents, and providing a rapid response force to safeguard U.S. interests anywhere in the world. Currently, the Marine Corps consists of approximately 186,000 officers and enlisted Marines, each performing various roles ranging from piloting aircraft and helicopters, operating radar systems, conducting cyber intelligence, to driving armored vehicles. However, much of their fame comes from their infantry forces, deployed almost worldwide, which have served the U.S. for over 240 years. The Marine Corps was founded in 1775 and has participated in some of the most significant conflicts in modern history, such as the U.S. War of Independence, the U.S. Intervention in Mexico, the Banana Wars World War I, and II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Invasion of Panama, the Bosnian War, the Kosovo War Operation Iraqi Freedom, and Operation Enduring Freedom. Marines are known for being one of the most united and patriotic military forces, not only in the U.S., but in the world. Their culture, built over time, has been passed down and adapted but never diminished. For this reason, being part of the Marine Corps is one of the greatest honors for the American population. However, joining the Marine Corps is a formidable challenge. Candidates must undergo rigorous training that hardens them physically and mentally, pushing them to the limits of their abilities. To be eligible for recruitment into the Marine Corps, certain requirements must be met, be a U.S. citizen or a resident with a green card, meet strict physical, mental, and moral standards, be between 17 and 29 years old, have a high school diploma, take and pass the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, or ASVABI exam, and pass a military medical exam certifying the candidate is physically fit to serve. Each year, more than 38,000 recruits are accepted and trained. The first three weeks of training are dedicated to transforming civilian mindsets and habits learning naval terminology, receiving instruction on military history, customs and courtesies, basic first aid uniforms, leadership and core values. Discipline is taught through close order drill and hand-to-hand -hand combat training with the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. Physical training intensifies as recruits become stronger. The fourth week focuses on water survival training where recruits learn to survive in the water, jump into deep waters, use gear to stay afloat, and shed heavy equipment. During the fifth and sixth weeks, recruits continue to improve physically with core, strength, and endurance exercises. In the seventh week, the Crucible Week begins centered on basic marksmanship training with the M16 rifle where they practice shooting positions. Weeks 8 and 9 focus on long-distance shooting with each shot monitored by instructors and a minimum score required to advance to the next phase. During the 10th week of Marine training, recruits learn land navigation using only a map and compass. This week is particularly challenging with longer marches, more calisthenics, limited sleep, and rationed food. One of the most feared aspects of this stage is the gas chamber where recruits, equipped with gas masks, are exposed to tear gas and must endure it for several minutes. The first stage of training concludes in weeks 11 and 12 when the new Marines are inspected by their battalion commanders and complete final administrative tasks before their graduation ceremony. 
Throughout the entire training recruits learn to trust their abilities and manage extreme stress. Only those with a fighting spirit above chaos, fear, doubt and exhaustion will earn the honor of becoming U.S. Marines. After basic training the new Marines attend the School of Infantry at Camp Baker or Camp Pendleton, where they begin their combat training. Marines can be stationed at any of the 20 bases across the U.S. where they continue to specialize in various fields. Although it is said that every Marine is a rifleman, infantry units represent only 15% of the total force, with 35 other professional fields that include aviation aircraft maintenance broadcasting combat engineering communications intelligence supplies and armored vehicle transportation. The Marine Corps plays a vital role in national security as an amphibious expeditionary force with combined air-ground capabilities. Although it is never employed as a standalone combat force, it has the ability to deploy anywhere in the world within days. Operational forces are divided between the Pacific Forces and Atlantic Forces, each responsible for operations in their respective zones. Marines are organized into forces, brigades, and expeditionary units, allowing them to adapt to different missions. For example, an urban mission will require troops specialized in urban warfare, while a mission in mountainous regions will need fewer tanks. The Marine Corps takes pride in its rich culture and history, with traditions that reinforce camaraderie and a sense of belonging. Veterans and retirees of the Marine Corps are eligible for a range of benefits, including burial in state cemeteries, medical and life insurance, low interest loans, and veteran medical care. Most Marine Corps personnel take the phrase, once a Marine, always a Marine seriously, and many retired Marines find great opportunities and respect in civilian life. Notable examples include Glenn Bell, creator of the Taco Bell franchise, Henry Bellman, former governor of Oklahoma, NASA astronauts like Randolph Bresnik, and actors like Adam Driver, known for his role in That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, where there's new content every day and many surprises coming soon. Don't miss them. Without further ado, I wish you a great day.